Hello, my name is Eileen. I'm from Hamburg. I'm an opera singer and voice teacher, and I teach singing, acting, German pronunciation and German language. Guten Morgen is good morning in German. So, guten is good and morning is morgen. It's quite similar to English. So, if you know already to speak English, there you will find a lot of words that are quite similar. For example, Ich wünsche dir einen guten Morgen. Wünschen is to wish. So, wünschen, wish, it's quite similar. I think you can remember that very good. So, ich, I, wünsche dir einen guten Morgen. Ich, I, wish you, wünsche dir a good morning. Einen guten Morgen. There is a possibility to remember always the first letter. <laughs> Let's go on with some easy words. Was wollen Sie trinken? What would you like to drink? So, was is what. It's also like the same um, first letter. Quite easy to remember. Wollen is to want. Und trinken is to drink. Was wollen Sie trinken? What would you like to drink? So, was is what. Wollen is to want. And you pronounce the, the W in German like the V in English. So, wollen, not wollen. Was, was wollen Sie trinken? Trinken is to drink, quite similar to the English word. And the R is rrr, we make it here in the, in the, uh, rrr, uh, there is, um, it's very inside your um, throat, quite difficult, but if you pronounce with an accent like trinken or trinken, everyone will understand you. That's not that problem. So, was wollen Sie trinken? What would you like to drink? Quite easy to remember all that words. So, and in addition, I will put another video from my uh, pronunciation classes for opera singers. So, now we go a little bit deeper into the pronunciation. Der Hölle Rache kocht in meinem Herzen. Revenge of hell is like very, very hot inside my heart. Der Hölle. Der, the E is open, not der. Der Hölle is the Ö, so you practice it. Oh, 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 oh. Your tongue is just moving a little bit. Rache. You make the very, very behind in your throat. Kocht. Very important that a lot of air comes out with the T of kocht. In meinem Herzen. Please make the glottis of the in. So nicht kochtin. No, don't make like if you especially if you're from a beautiful country like Spain or Italy, don't make don't uh, combine the consonants. Don't do that. Kocht in meinem Herzen. So separate the E from in from kocht and the T. So kocht with a lot of air and in meinem Herzen. So, Herzen, you already, um, again, have the H. If you're from England, you know that. If you're maybe Spanish or something, you have to practice that. That it's like breathing out Herzen. Tod und Verzweiflung. Verzweiflung. It's a difficult word. It means despair. Tod is death and despair. Verzweiflung. Verzweiflung. Here is the dif difference. We have two E's. We have der Hölle Rache, but Verzweiflung. So we have the E and the E. Der Hölle Verzweiflung. 
it's different and it's good when you make it sound different way singing. So remember that. Mm. It's both spelled with E-R, but it's pronounced different, differently. So Verzweiflung. It's an open E. Tod und Verzweiflung. Please pronounce the D's like the T's. Tod with a lot of air, not tot. No. Tod und Verzweiflung. Flammen um mich her. They are all around me. Fühlt nicht durch dich Sarastro Todesschmerzen. So this is the cruel part. When Sarastro will not feel the pain of death through your hands. Um, it's very, very important that fühlt, that you pronounce the Ü, it's the same as with the O in Hölle, the Ö in Hölle. Fü, u, u, u. It's like an U, a U sound, but it, the, the tongue is moving a little bit upside. Fühlt nicht durch, durch dich Sarastro Todesschmerzen. Fühlt, important, make a long U, because if you make it sh short, the meaning of the word will change. So if you say füllt nicht Sarastro Todesschmerzen, it means filling with something. And that's very, very wrong because you want to say fühlen. Fühlen is feeling. It's the same as in English. Feeling is feeling and filling something is filling something. So fühlt nicht durch dich Sarastro Todesschmerzen. Nicht durch dich. For all people from Latin countries, Italy, Latin America and Spain, please make a sharp D. Dich. Durch dich. Nicht durch dich. Durch dich. Don't make such a soft D. It's just, um, yeah, it's an accent. So please remember that there always should be T, D, D. There is always a little bit air in the German D and it's quite of a, a very, very harsh D, not a soft one. So, durch dich, fühlt nicht durch dich Sarastro Todesschmerzen. Um, pain like death or deathly pain. So bist du meine Tochter nimmer mehr. Here we have the two different S. So is the S with the voice. So z it's the S where your um, voice is also vibrating. But bist, there is the silent S, the sharp S. So bist, not so bist, no, and not so bist, also not. Uh, this is a common mistake that the people sing the soft S as a sharp S and then, uh, then it sounds like a strong accent. So, so bist, no. So bist. So you have two words and two different S. Du, du, again a sharp D please. Meine Tochter, two sharp T's, very t sharp T's, T's. Nimmer mehr. So bist du meine Tochter, nimmer mehr. So we will repeat this a few times with the beautiful coloratura. If you remember like the half of all that, you will sound pretty German. <laughs>